Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today I'll be sharing with you some little tips that are super easy and will help you maintain a clean home all the time. First up is to do 20 minutes of cleaning per day. It's not a huge amount, but this will make a massive difference. If you can stick to doing 20 minutes a day and if you can get everyone in the house to pitch in, like for example, Bo and I will both do this together at the same time, then it means that you can get so much more stuff done. And plus 20 minutes doesn't actually feel like a super long time. And if you do have that timer on, it means you're gonna be stuck doing that task until the timer is up. My next tip is to keep cleaning supplies where you need them. This will help prevent you from getting lazy. Like if you get, you know, little splotches on the bathroom mirror and things like that, you already have the products handy and in the cupboard, perhaps below the bathroom sink so that it's easy for you to grab. While I'm at it, I thought I'd quickly show you the products that I've been using lately. So these ones are made with organic essential oils and they smell amazing. They're by Organic Choice and they're sourced from sustainable and natural ingredients. If you're from Australia, you can just pick them up at Coles, super affordable. And plus, check out the packaging, so much better than normal cleaning products. Next is to declutter and organize. If you are decluttering, you're going to be owning less stuff. When you own less stuff, it's easier to keep things clean. It's simple. I do have a whole series of minimalism videos and I will link them in the description box if you would like to check them out. Set tasks for the morning, and these might even be super simple jobs, but it's gonna set you off on the right foot for the day. Maybe it's something just like emptying the dishwasher or you know, hanging out some laundry, something like that. Just make sure you're starting off the day on the right foot. In our household, it normally means putting some laundry on, uh, fixing up the dishes and the kitchen and making sure they're in good order. For me, I'll sit down and do a lot of emails and then also taking care of my houseplants. Avoid procrastination. If there's something small that you have a couple of minutes to be able to do, then just do it. For example, stop leaving the clean dishes just sitting in the dishwasher, just suck it up and get them done. Keep counters clear. For me, this was something that I struggled with a lot because my kitchen counter is so close to my elevator front door kind of situation. If you keep your counters clean, it's gonna make the whole place look a lot clearer. Use less paper. By having less of a paper trail, you'll have less clutter lying around, so switch to digital billing. Photograph the physical copies of your receipts and keep the digital copies instead. There's lots of little things that you can do to reduce the amount of paper that you have in your home. Give items a home or a place that they have to belong. So instead of leaving something out in a random spot, you know exactly where it needs to go and you can just pop it back in that place. Clean as you cook, which is actually really, really easy to do. So after you've prepped your ingredients, you've got stuff cooking, go ahead and clean up all the counters, the bench tops and everything that you used. After your meals, just chuck things in the dishwasher or wash them up straight away. Don't leave things sitting, stinking in the sink. I think a good little weekly habit to have is clearing out your fridge and cupboard. You can actually see what you already own. You're not gonna go and buy multiple of them at the grocery store the next time that you're there. And it just means that you're not keeping excess food that's gone bad either. I'm sure you guys probably have some awesome tips to share as well. So if you do, feel free to leave a comment. I love being able to chat with you guys in the comments section. And if you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.